Hi, my name is Nick Broughton and I'm a random fish. Hit the subscribe button and let's all be random fish together, shall we? Now, I'll be honest. I didn't know what I was going to review. I said about going on YouTube and looking up fan films, and I did. There's a very large amount of them out there, and they're good. They're all very good. I don't. I will never dispute their level of decency. However, what I am very confused about is what to look at first, and to what to review first. And I decided on one very specific one. One that cannot now be seen on YouTube, sadly. I watched it a lot. I still remember it pretty well. The trailer is available. Um, I will leave a description. I'll leave it in the description for you to get a link to it so you can watch it yourself. Um, in terms of what this is, I'm going to give you a, a, a clue to it as to the title. It's called The Twelve Steps of Jason Mew's Get Greedo. This fan film is based off of the life of Kevin Smith and Jason Mewes. For those of you who don't know, first off, what the hell are you doing on this channel? Because I'm fairly sure most people who are on here might know who that is. Secondly, if you don't, you're legitimately here. Kevin Smith came to prominence as a filmmaker in the 90s, uh, doing a film called Clerks. Black and white, very funny. And it made his career. He made several films starring the various characters that he created. Um, he had a shared universe before the MCU was a thing, and before DC and tried and slightly failed to create that same exact creation, but whatever. But over the years, Kevin has inspired people. And one of the people that he has inspired is his co-star, his best friend, and his hero life mate, Jason Mewes. Part of the story is a, quite a sad one, I guess, for a while. Uh, and it was that Jason has had has had issues with issues with drugs, for lack of any other better terminology. I was trying to be nice about it, but you know what? Let's just barrel through it. He had issues with drugs. He doesn't anymore. Uh, if you want to know what that is, then do feel free to look up Jay and Silent Bob Get Old. Jay and Silent Bob Get Old. It's a podcast in which they discuss Jason's uh, continued sobriety from that and from drugs and from alcohol and all that sort of stuff that he has been dealing with. And you know what? It's it's wonderful to listen to, so please do check it out because it's incredible. Um, this film is called Chasing Greedo because for a brief period before the shooting of the film Dogma, one of Kevin's good films, I might add, um, Jason was in such a state that Kevin had to basically babysit him 24 hours a day, making sure that he didn't go running off to try and find his next high. And so the best thing they could think of to help with that was to replace one addiction with another. Now, Jason had a day, he had a schedule, everything else. He went out, got his donuts and his... Um, his uh, the, the drugs to help him get off drugs, essentially speaking. Um, and it just... And he went from there. And through a conversation with another one of Kevin's friends, Walt Flanagan, they discovered that they were in need of buying some Greedo dolls for Kevin's comic book shop, Jay and Sonder Bob's Secret Stash. Um, that's located in New Jersey. Um... So they they replaced one addiction for another. They replaced Jason's desire for drugs and all of that horrible stuff that you should not do, kids. Um, <laughs> or do if it really makes you happy and you can handle it, because that's the thing of Kevin's anyway. Um, he replaced the addiction of drugs with the addiction of trying to find the Greedo dolls. And they went to various Toys R Us's trying to find it. Back when Toys R Us was a thing, people. Um, they went shopping, they tried to find the Greedo dolls, they end up finding some and giving them to Walt and everything else, and it's it's all nice and lovely and everything else and blah blah blah. 
It, however, is not something that is currently now available on YouTube, which is sad. Um, it is currently, the trailer, like I said, will be in the description below, but the actual film itself, the short film itself, is not there. Um, why did I want to talk about this? Well, actually, it's for a bunch of reasons. The first off is that this is a film about trying to get off drugs. It's attempting to find a way to eliminate that addiction desire in the back of your head and to replace it with a desire to not do that stuff. And it is something that a lot of people, a lot of people, not just in this country, but in many other countries in the world, seem to have a very blasé attitude about. Now, I am not someone who has ever gone through that level of addiction, that level of desire, apart from my slight oasis addiction, but that's another story. Um, my biggest problem comes more from the fact that I feel like this movie is, this film anyway, is a giant wake-up call to a lot of people, because addiction is not something that is easy to turn off. It is not something that can easily be controlled, and it is something that does not happen, it will not happen overnight, is what I'm saying. This film, Dogma, that this film is based off of, the, the build-up to it, Kevin was able to help Jason stay sober for a bit, but it ultimately backfired on him. Jason is now sober, but it took him a long time to get there. And what I think this film does an excellent job of doing is showing that level of addiction and also from the other perspective, from the idea of the friend, the one that looks at you and says, I don't know how to help you. Because ultimately, and this is going to sound weird, but ultimately, unless you have the desire to, to truly surrender this concept, surrender this addiction, you will not deal with it and you cannot deal with it. Again, I do not speak as someone who has had addiction issues. I speak as someone who has seen enough of this stuff in the world and in the news and, for lack of a better term, from following Jason, from following Jason Muse, he is an inspiration for a lot of people. And I do thoroughly believe that. Now... The other reason as to why I recommend this, or why I recommend watching the trailer, or why I recommend looking it up, or talking about it, or those that have seen it to talk to other people about it, is actually a very simple concept. It's a fan, it's a fan film of a fan. Kevin is a fan, first and foremost. And I don't want people to forget that. Kevin is first and foremost a fan, and he says this a lot in his podcasts, in his shows, in everything he's ever done. He is a fan first of a lot of things. What I want people to remember about this, anyway, is that the guys that made this, they are fans of him. And it's kind of... <laughs> it's amusing to me. In a lot of ways, because you're seeing a fan react to a fan, and they're probably both fans of the same thing. These guys who made this are also fans of the stuff that Kevin is a fan of, I'm sure, and the same, you know, probably a fan of what Jason's a fan of as well. It's it's the beauty of the world of a fan enjoying the work of another fan and being able to salute him for it. And I honestly want people to look at that and to, and to try and live their lives through that mentality. To be able to connect with other fans on that kind of a level. To be able to feel such a pride for them. To allow yourself to be connected to another human being. And I think that's a genius thing to do. Now, this is the first review really of the new year. And... I'll be honest, I wasn't entirely aware of what it is that I wanted to do with this show now. 
But you know what? I, I'm going for it. I'm going with it and I'm seeing what I can do with it. So, next time, next week, hopefully, I will be doing a review of something else. Something more mainstream. Something with a much greater universal appeal. Whether it's something that you guys want, or you guys have seen, will be another question entirely. But please, uh, like this video, comment below if you have seen this, um, the, the Get Greedo, the 12 Steps to Jason Muse. Also, uh, write down in the comments below or find me on Facebook or on Twitter or on Instagram and let me know about what you think would be a good fan film for me to look at or something you th you, you've seen that you think I may not have seen. It's possible. It is very possible. I... I I cannot scour all of YouTube for all of time. It's a fun idea, but it's never going to happen. So until then, random fish.